Okay, so like I said, for this um, technique, you're going to need about $30 to achieve what I've done here. And that is because of this app here. The My Y app is $19.99 from the Cydia store. And that's like the, uh, the, app, the Apple app store for jailbroken apps. And then this one is not absolutely necessary, but um, for me it is. It's just this uh, USB extender cable so that you can extend your iPod cord, iPad cord, sorry, like this, and this gives me another 25 feet to go from the center of the stage over to the side of the stage where the computer will now reside. Okay, so the first step is to create, uh, or to jailbreak your iPad, and I'm not going to provide a tutorial on that because uh, there are many much better tutorials out there already. But I used uh, the program Absinthe 2.0, which is a free program, and you want to make sure that you follow their suggestion to back up your iPad on iTunes first because it does involve wiping your uh, entire iPad. And so all of your apps and songs and whatever else that you have stored on there will be erased but if you back it up on iTunes, restoring those settings, songs, apps, everything else is very easy. So, um, once you do that, then you want to in, uh, make sure that you download the Cydia app, and that looks like this. And so if you open that up, sorry about this tripod here. Um, it shows you, uh, you can shop for different apps, and there are some great um, jailbroken apps, you know, one of my favorites is the, the ProTube YouTube app, which is much better than the regular YouTube app that comes with the iPad, um, other things like that, but I won't get into that. So you just need this because this is where you will download the MyY app, which looks like this here. Alright, again, there's a three day trial period for the MyY app, so you can um, try it out for yourself to make sure this technique works for you and your setup, but um, you'll probably want to buy it once you, you find that it, that it works. And um, when I bought it, it was $19.99, so unless the price has changed, that's what you're looking at here. So, this we're not going to be using this for exactly the intended purpose, but kind of. And so, um, what we'll do is you see here there's an option for, whoops, sorry, for USB tethering. And you want to make sure that that's selected to be on, because the idea here is to be able to create a solid connection between your controller and your computer without the need of a Wi-Fi connection or a 3G, 4G, whatever um, network connection, which can be spotty, uh, unreliable, and when you're in front of a big crowd of people, you don't want to be taking those risks. So uh, make sure that that is on. Then connect your iPad cable to your USB extender cable and then plug the USB into your computer of course. All right. So we've enabled that and we're going to plug in the iPad cable and if we close the MyY app you'll notice there at the top of the screen it says MyY one client zero bytes down zero bytes up not charging so that's just letting you know that, that my Y is connected. And the other thing that we're going to want to do is very important is go over to your settings and turn your Wi-Fi off. So we do not want to be using the Wi-Fi connection from your iPad because your iPad for some reason will get confused and you want the connection, the wired connection to be the only connection between you and your computer. Plus, you don't need to surf the internet during the show. I'm going to go over to the computer screen now. So, um, once you have your USB cable hooked up, then you want to open up Audio MIDI Setup. And then go into Network. Now, this is very similar to my last video that showed how to um, connect the Sound Prism app to the micro cord. And so, you just want to make sure that that your uh, iPad should show up there in the directory, then you should be able to connect, and then you have participants over here showing that your iPad is connected, and you have your local name here, right? 
So let's just give that a quick test. And so let's say we want our MIDI from Ableton to go to the network polycord. Now channels are important, and like I said, I uh, have been using this MIDI synth app, which is very simple, but very, very nice and straightforward. Turn up the volume there. Okay. And we'll go over to system and MIDI and just make sure that we know what channel that MIDI is receiving there. So it says channel 7. So over here on Ableton, we'll go over to channel 7 and give it a test. So that connection is solid and working. So let's say we also want to utilize a touch OSC connection as well. Sorry if that's a little annoying, but um, we'll just open up Live Control. And we're going to make sure we open up Touch OSC here. Okay. And we have our host there, Live Control. And we're done. Whoops. Sorry about that. So done. And so as you can see, we now have an OSC connection as well. So I'm controlling Ableton from the iPad. Ableton is controlling the analog synth MIDI app, so it's uh, achieved both an OSC and a MIDI connection through a secure wired connection. And so um, if you find an easier, cheaper way of doing this, I'd love to know about it. But um, this is something that I think will really work well. I've done quite a few extended practice sessions with this technique. and um, I've found that there are no connectivity issues, even with the long USB extension cable. So, I'll put the links there in the uh, description field of everything that I use to make this happen. So, um, hit me up and let me know um, what you think. So, I can't wait to hear from you. So, uh, have a good one, and we'll see you next time.